Hey guys, so in this video we are just going to have a look at how to create some decorative text using C well we're going to see one example with Flexbox and one with grid, the CSS grid basically. So let's get into it. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because I was reading this great article by Rachel Andrew and if you don't know who that is I highly encourage you to have a little Google and look up her work. She is by far and wide one of the most important people in frontend today. She's one of the main reasons why we have CSS Grid. So she illustrated this very nice po point about how you can apply CSS Grid in a, in a kind of new and creative way and I thought it was kind of kind of cool so I wanted to show you like the 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 idea be behind this article basically. So here we have some fancy text and since we're super fancy we have these two HR tags on the side here so that we can illustrate this little nice dash just to get some decorative text going here. So it's all wrapped in an H1 and all that you see the basic style we have some margin, we have a max width, we have a text alignment and then we use Flexbox to basically say that all right put all my elements in uh, yeah, in, in, in the flex box basically. So the container is set to display flex, right? And then we say justify content space between so that we actually get some space between these elements because if we don't have that, we can simply see that, yeah, you see the alignment goes completely bonkers here. So we are aligning the item center, which means that they are all on the same line, as you can see. And then we say space between so that they are take up the, so that they fill out the space so the text here gets some padding on each side right now this is fairly straightforward like there's no like there's nothing special about this but what I was uh, kind of inspired by was how how Rachel could show showed us how to I, I actually she uh, touched on the in the article how you can do it with CSS grid and I thought it was it was pretty cool. So here we have an H1 element that instead of being in flexbox mode, basically it sets we set it to grid, and then we declare that our grid is going to be one row. It's going to have one fraction, and then the center column is going to just be auto. So it's going to take up the content width so that the text gets the 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 size the. the they, they mentioned that it's it, that it needs basically and then we're going to have another fraction right and then we set a grid gap of, a grid gap of 20 pixels so the effect we can see now is basically the same and then we can simply use the before we can use the h1s before and after elements to to create the pseudo like we can use these pseudo elements to create our remaining content and I thought that this was a pretty creative way of using bef the before and after together with CSS Grid to achieve a similar effect as as in w with uh, with with Flexbox. Now you can of course do this in other ways as well, but I, I still thought it was a pretty nice learning experience where we can see a concrete example of how you can start fiddling around and playing with CSS Grid. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you have a great day.